First one I'm gonna go ahead and talk about is gonna be prop war. I'm kind of just gonna go from the top all the way to the bottom. Um, so with prop war, um, this is kind of like I would say like a really good early game vendor, but in terms of actually selling things to, the only thing that you really want to sell is grenades. Um, so like flashes, uh, you're pretty much like throwables is how they're categorized. Uh, the way that the vendors kind of work is that they prefer special items or certain items with different tags. Um, and they'll give you like the best price for those items that they prefer. Any they can might they might still accept uh, other type of items that have a different tag, um, but they won't give you the best price for it. So if I go to like this throwable or this grenade and I go to inspect, um, we can see weapons, throwables. So this right here is the actual category. So prop war tends to give the best price for throwables. So if you ever have spare grenades that you don't want or spare throwable items, um, then that's what prop war will take for the best price. Next I'm going to go ahead and talk about is going to be Therapist. Uh, therapist is good for any of the categories that says barter items, keys, medical treatment, and provisions. So if I were to go into my inventory here, medication, injury treatment, so like something like that. Or here we have medication, pills. Um, here we have uh, medication, so pretty much like anything medical related is one of the categories that the Therapist really likes. Uh, we also have keys, so if we go here and we inspect this category right here is keys. Provisions. Do I have any food on me? I think I might have eaten all my food on the field. But I'm gonna have water. <laughs> um, but like the Snickers bar right here, provisions. That's the category that is good. And then here we have provisions, so water also falls under that category. Uh, here we have medication, so any type of uh, medication treatment. And then also barter items. Uh, what's an example of barter items? I don't think I have any on me, but usually it's like, I think it's like the purple stuff, the purple items. Do I have any barter items on me? I don't have any barter items on me, but let me see if I can show you guys an example of a barter item. Maybe I have some defense. Over here, so barter items. So this battered uh, antique book right here, the category is barter item, uh, bartered I the category is the category is barter items. So this, if like let's say you looted this in raid, uh, you could sell that to the therapist for the best rubles. Uh, next is going to be fence. Uh, fence you should only really sell if nobody else is really taking it. Um, mostly it's just damaged goods. So like damaged guns, like kind of like these ones. Um, or damaged armor or yeah pretty much if it can't be sold anywhere else like if no other vendor wants to take it then you can just sell it to the fence but for the most part you shouldn't really sell to the fence unless you really have to um because you kind of the fence kind of gives you the least amount of rubles i believe so yeah next is going to be the skier uh for skier we have it set to none um i guess skier is just not a really good vendor we're getting rubles the other vendors kind of just specialize in other in more stuff, I suppose. And then next is going to be the Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper is good for info item category and for special equipment. So let me see if I can find some examples for you guys on that. So info item is like the slim diary right here in the top corner. You can see info item. Um, I'm trying to find one for special equipment. I don't really know what classifies as special equipment. Let me see here. All right, so I went ahead and went to the flea market, which I actually don't have unlocked yet, but this is some examples of special equipment. So something like this range finder um, is special equipment or like your compass is special equipment. And you can see the category up in the left right there. The next trader that I want to go ahead and talk about is going to be the mechanic. You'll get the best bang for your buck for uh, anything that has like the ammo type, so something like this, ammo, um, and then also guns, excluding the shotgun, uh, bolt action rifles, marksman rifles, melee weapons, and throwables. Those will go to Jaeger instead, but any other gun will go to mechanic for the best rubles. So if we look at this one, this is a weapons SMG, so this would go to mechanic for the best rubles, but let's say this one is a assault carbine which actually also goes to the mechanic. Okay, so like this shotgun right here. <laughs> Weapons, shotgun, so shotgun would, would go to Jaeger instead. This one is a marksman rifle, so this one would also go to Jaeger instead. Um, and those are just some of the examples of which ones would go to Jaeger, and all the other ones would go to the mechanic. The mechanic also takes weapon parts, so anything with a category of weapon parts. So here we have weapon parts and mods as the category. So that one would go to the mechanic. Uh, the silencer would probably go to the mechanic as well for the best rubles. 
And yeah, that's everything that the mechanic will take for the best rubles. So now I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next trader, which is Ragman. And uh, I keep looking to my left screen because I have a, a, my notes pulled up on the left. So <laughs> just so that I don't forget what I'm going over. Next up in the traders is going to be Ragman. Ragman will accept any items uh, for the most rubles that has the barter items slash fabrics. Um, so let me see if I can find an example of this. I don't think I have any in my inventory, maybe. So this fabric, for example, is barter items. And then the next one, instead of others, should be fabrics. Um, and that would be go to Ragman. But because this one is just others, this one would actually go to the therapist since it's a barter item. Only 17. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to find an example of it. But you'll essentially have to see barter items and then the next tag will be um, fabric. In addition to that, Ragman will also take anything that has the gear tag. So pretty much armor. So right here, this chest uh, armor has the gear tag. This rig will have the gear tag. Uh, helmets will have the gear tag like that. And even like masks will have the gear tag. And yeah, that's everything for Ragman. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the last trader, which is Jaeger. So I already went over a little bit of what Jaeger will take for the most rubles, which is pretty much bolt action rifles, marksman rifles, melee weapons and shotguns. And those are the best things to sell to Jaeger. And that's actually the only things that you really sell to Jaeger. But whenever in doubt, if something hits those categories and for some reason the vendor doesn't take it, then you can also kind of double check and cross-reference the different pricing. So like what I usually do is I go to the traders, I go to prop war and like, well, let's say I'm trying to sell this SKS and the SKS is a assault carbine. So it's going to go to the mechanic. So the mechanic sells it for 1300 rubles, but let's say I'm doubting it. I'm like, mm, let me check the other ones. So usually I just go like this 1300. It's only being sold at 1200 here, 1300. So what about the therapist? Not even accepting it. The fence only for 9,000. Skier for 1,200. Peacekeeper for 110. We have Ragman not accepting it and Jaeger is not accepting it. So that's why it would go to the mechanic for 1,300. So if you're ever in doubt, you can do that, but it is a lot of work. Um, so that's why I figured I would break it down in this guide. Well guys, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise, until next time.